What's going on guys, Don over at REI Automation Squad and Easy Button REI, also Beast Mode CRM with that. Uh, gonna talk through a connection point uh, that some have wanted and asked about, um, specifically around sending a blast of text messages to a opted in list uh, and a way to connect that to your uh, CRM platform, Beast Mode, another way to do that. Uh, and so we'll be talking through this. Now we're going to talk specifically uh, around the setup of doing it through the Cash Buyers app. However, I will kind of talk through how this could be utilized with your contacts app. So your realtors, your uh, closing attorneys, things like that, uh, your network, your wholesalers, those that you're JVing with, things like that, and how this could be utilized. So uh, in order to do this, you're going to be using uh, Podio and or Beast Mode. You're going to have a click send account and a Zapier account to make all this work and connect. Okay, so what that looks like price point wise is I would recommend the minimum of a $20 a month plan with Zapier. Obviously Podio, you can have uh, either the free account or uh, if you've got the automated version with us, Beast Mode. And then Click Send uh, on this side is the uh, communication area that's going to be sending your text. And you can kind of see that they've got some different things that you can do either via uh, SMS or email. And it does have an API if you don't want to use uh, Zapier for whatever reason. Uh, but pricing wise, it is one of the better priced ones out there for sending out text and things like that. So you have the ability to have a dedicated number. You see here $1.63 for that dedicated number. And then your text messages, depending on how many you buy in bulk, can be as cheap as uh, an eighth of a penny if you get 100,000 or you're down to roughly one penny with 10,000. So um, whatever the case may be, that's the platform that we're going to be connecting to. Um, just wanted to quickly show that to you. So that's just clicksend.com. And then uh, we'll talk through what it looks like here in a minute. Uh, inside of your beast mode workspace, uh, we're going to talk through where uh, I've got this connected to. So um, I've got a test workspace or demo workspace, so some of the apps and things may look a little bit different uh, than yours, but it's simply the Cash Buyers app that all of our Beast Mode workspaces come with. Um, and so this is that Cash Buyers app. What I've done is under the wrench and modify template, I've added one field, and it's a category field, that simply says contact list, add to SMS Blast. And so you add that first, and then you'll want to make sure that you uh, have an item, fill out the information. So the basics that I'm going to say you should fill out are bare minimum of name, uh, phone number, and probably the email. Now, this specific uh, app, I've done a first name, last name uh, addition for text fields. Again, that's under the modify template. You can do that if you like. You don't need to have that for this uh, setup, but you could do that so that you can manage some of your contacts by first name, last name, things like that. Uh, because ClickSend does have the ability uh, to input first names if you wanted to use that as a variable at some point with your text blast. So nonetheless, um, fill it in, and then that new button that you've created, go ahead and click that. So you'll want to have the basics up here, the email, and click the button. Once you've uh, done that, you've now basically created an item with your trigger, and you'll need to go into Zapier at this point and find the uh, zap or create the zap where it's podio and it's based off of an update in podio so i go down and click podio it's based on an update to an item you're going to pick your account if it's the first time you've ever picked it it'll make you log in and authorize it you go ahead and pick the organization and then the workspace name workspace name is either here or when you first come in workspace name is right here Either one, it's the same thing. Workspace name, point to the Cash Buyers app, and then you're going to find that item where you triggered it, pressing the pressing the button uh, that we talked about. And then can got, you can scroll through here and kind of see um, it's right here. And specifically, that contact list field has got add to SMS Blast right here. You could really name it whatever you want, but that's what we've named it. And then once it's found that trigger point, we use the uh, filter. So I'll click this just so I can kind of show you the filter right here. That's what we used. Um, and once we've done that filter, what we do, what we chose was only continue if the contact list field, which if I go back, is this contact list field, 
matches exactly add to SMS blast. So add to SMS blast. If we do that, we're going to continue. And what we're going to do is create a contact. So this is where you would pick, click send. It'll have you uh, connect your account. And then you're going to pick create contact. What account? This is the account or your account that you have. You'll need that click send account. And then from uh, the different drop downs, you'll pick right here from Podio. And you can also show all options, or if you know the name, search the name. But nonetheless, you see the values where the name was filled in, first name, uh, last name, phone number, all that good stuff, email filled in. And then organization, which is just the name of the buying company. That's what we've filled in. You could fill in some of these other ones if you want, but this is what we filled in. We go ahead and uh, test it. And what will happen is if you go under your uh, contacts, So one thing that I didn't bring up, you need to create this contact uh, record here, this list, uh, before you go into Zapier. So I apologize about that, but this will have to be created. And you simply do that by clicking on the plus symbol. And from there, you'll be able to have a contact group. That contact group then has, obviously, some of these uh, different names and phone numbers in it. Um, and then based off of that, you'll be able to add in Zapier a record to your contact and it's right there contact buyers list okay so once you've uh, connected it what happens is basically anytime a buyer in this buyers app you click add to SMS blast it'll create a new contact in this record or in this contact card area uh, and if you want to send out a blast there's two different ways that you can do it the first way on this video that I'm going to talk about is probably the simplest method which is your person that's going to send a blast is simply going to log into ClickSend. They'll go under SMS, SMS campaign. And you can see I've got a test one in here with the two recipients. You simply come up here and create a campaign, name it, whatever. I would say probably the properties uh, street and uh, put it up here and maybe the date. And then you're going to pick your contact list, which is your buyer's list from a number. So you're going to pick whatever dedicated number. You're going to want to have a dedicated number to send this blast out to. You can get those numbers right here. Click numbers, SMS, and you can buy any of those numbers. So that's one way to do it. Okay. SMS campaign. Once you have the dedicated number, you're going to go ahead and put everything in here. Name, pick your contact, pick a dedicated number. So you'll pick a dedicated number right here, go ahead and type up your message, and then you can actually add a short URL if you would like uh, to this message, and then opt out. So it's going to add that reply to stop. So you'll have your message above this about the property, whatever link, and then this reply to stop opt out will be at the bottom. That's important so that you're compliant with a marketing piece going out through the text messages. Now you can send it at that point and it'll send that blast out to your buyers list things to keep in mind they say that these contact the list can only have a thousand records so if you have more than a thousand you'll have to have more than one blast list uh, that's one thing to keep in mind if you have less than a thousand you're fine with just that one list the other part if you have a certain template that you type up every time you have a property simply collect uh, create a template and then every time you're using this you'll be able to have a drop down and just select the template and fill in the information and send it out, make it a little bit quicker. Once you blast this text out under SMS, there is a messenger. That is where you'll be able to text back and forth with anybody that's responded to your text blast. If you want the ability to have them call the number and reach out to you, you'll need to reach out to ClickSend support and request that that number has the forwarding set up, likely forwarded to like a call rail number, so that you can answer and talk to them. Forwarding, last time I checked, was 15 bucks a month for the phone number to forward. So just kind of take that into consideration. But this will allow you to set up a blast. Now, this was specifically around a cash buyers list, blasting out properties, but this could be utilized in other ways as well. So if you have people that have opted in and to receive text messages from you and provided their number and, and agreed to that, 
then I would say that another spot where this could be useful is our contacts app. We have a contacts app inside of beast mode, inside of our workspace. It's built out for your realtors, your closing attorneys, and anybody within the industry. And to break them out, you can uh, add a different type by modifying the template and adding a button. So you can have your wholesalers and other people that you have uh, networked with in the past, put their name and phone number and email into this uh, contact card. And then I would go ahead and add a field of add to uh, blast and simply set it up to where these guys are added to certain list based off of the type. So you could have uh, a contact card inside of, let's go back here under contacts. You would want to have certain list for wholesalers, certain list for realtors, certain list for closing attorneys. And based off of you clicking, let's go back, based off of you clicking the buttons of the type, you could send them to different lists which would then allow you to reach out and see if they have anything. Do they have off-market properties? Do they have any that they're having trouble selling if they're wholesalers? Uh, home inspectors, have they seen anything recently that needed a lot of work that they could have you reach out to? Uh, title companies, do they have ones that are not closing right now that maybe you can help another wholesaler close or work through your buyer's list? All those kinds of things to think about. Uh, but if you're pushing them to a list, that would be an easy way to reach out every so often and see how things are going. So this is kind of the easier way to connect, click send, have contact list, and then be able to blast a text message to them. Now this is for opted in list. So it's very important that I don't want you to think you should be going and buying a list offline or online, I should say, with thousands of phone numbers and blasting to it. You've never gotten their consent. If you do that and you have a bunch of opt outs with click send, meaning you send a thousand and Let's just say 200 of them opt out because they never agreed to receive your text. It's likely ClickSend will close your account because they're saying that you were reaching out without the proper approval and your percentage of 20% of your numbers or whatever saying that that's the case is going to cause some concern when they start looking at TCPA compliance and what can and cannot be done and who you're reaching out to. They don't want to take on that legal uh, risk with you. So make sure these are opted in lists that people have agreed for you to reach out to them and then think about using that number to reach out to them. And I would uh, have it forwarded to a call rail number. So if they do want to talk to you, they have a way to reach out to you and it's forwarded so you can answer it. If you have questions on this, let me know. Um, I'm going to do another video showing how to set up an app where you could potentially do the blast uh, directly inside of Podio. Uh, but responses uh, you could have set up inside of Podio. For now, I'm just going to show you how to send the blast from Podio uh, in the next video. And then from there, uh, they can obviously call or text you and you can work it either through ClickSend or if you wanted to, you could set up replies to come back through uh, on the back end of uh, Globiflow and things like that. So nonetheless, uh, reach out if you have questions on this video with connecting and blasting uh, using contact lists, things like that through ClickSend. Uh, you can reach us at either support at reiautomationsquad.zendesk.com or jump over to the Facebook group for either Podio uh, or the Beast Mug group. If you're a member over there, any questions you have, go ahead and post. All right, take care.